Hey everyone, this here is a quick video if you're having the black video glitch using my Snap Captions plugin. So first I'm gonna go through why this is happening and then how you can solve it. So let's go through this now. When you use my Snap Captions plugin, and if you don't know what that is, you can check it out here. But if you've been using my Snap Captions plugin and you generate your subtitles, generate your text right here, when I play Did this, you know that we can finally there's just a black video there. There's no actual content, but there is a video if I hide it. In DaVinci Resolve. So what's going on? Well, as some of you have discovered and mentioned in the comments, is when you go through and you actually change the font, it changes. So what's happening is either one of two things here. Either the font that was used for the template is not installed on your computer or the directory to the fonts is a different folder structure. And this can actually happen, say, going from a Mac to a Windows. So I'm a Mac user. So anyone with Windows, even if you have the same fonts, you may actually still experience this black video. So it is quite annoying. And yes, that is the is a bit of a problem, but there is a easier solution because what ends up happening is most people think we have to go through and change the font on everything. That is definitely not the case. What we can do instead is we can go to this actual font template itself. So in the Snap Captions folder, this one's called Green Dream. It's just something I made up for this video. Here's the easiest way to fix these templates without going into the whole Fusion page and getting hyper-technical. All we have to do is drag the Snap Captions templates we want to use, drag them down here. And then when we see this, yep, we see we get the black video. Now we can change this to whatever we want. So let's just change this to Roboto Black. Now, all you have to do is drag it back in here, rename it to what that originally was. This might be Green Dream version 02. And now if we were to use Snap Captions again to Workspace, Scripts, Comp, Snap Captions. Now I'm going to choose the version two here and we're gonna capitalize all the words. Let's do 50 and hit generate. Now it's gonna generate everything and you're gonna see the text is here, but this is all black and that's because we have that old text effect here. So let's just hide that and look at that. Did you know that we can finally now end now working? Now, here's the next solution. So the other issue that comes up is people going, do I have to open the DaVinci Resolve project file with the pre-installed snap captions? And the great answer is no, you don't. Here's the solution. So thankfully, Simon Stansfield in the comments himself actually came up with a great solution to this. You can actually put your snap captions folder into a power bin. What this means is that we no longer have to keep opening up this project file and copying it across. We can just have that folder in the power bin and drag it into any project we need to use. So let me show you how that works. So when you first go into Resolve, let's make sure we're in the edit page so we get the same looking structure thing here. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but edit page, let's use this one here. Now, usually a power bin shows up on the left, but as you see, it's not showing up right now. So if you don't have power bins turned on, you can simply go up to the three dots up here and click show power bins and voila, here it is. This is how we use power bins to dramatically speed up our process with snap captions. Simply put, grab the folder you have with all your templates. And if you need to, little trick, go through and update all the fonts so that they work on your machine. Once that's done, you can now drag the Snap Captions folder into the master bin of this power bin. And here it is here. Now, the great thing about this is every time we open up a new project file, we can simply drag the Snap Captions back into here and it will create a new folder. Just be warned, because there was already a Snap Captions folder in here, it created this as a Snap Captions copy, which means that my Snap Captions plugin will not reference that folder because it's not exactly the title it needs to be, which is Snap Captions, capitalized letters, no, no other things. <laughs> it's got to be exactly that. Now, but the beautiful thing is that if you don't have any folder called Snap Captions in here, when you just drag and drop it in, it's exactly as it needs to be. So when I go to Workspace, Scripts, Comp, Snap Captions, there they are all being referenced perfectly normally. Awesome stuff. So again, I have to just give an absolute massive shout out to Simon Stansfield. Really great tip. I'm really amazed that we're having such an awesome community coming together to make this plugin the best. I think together, us DaVinci Resolve users can completely dominate the animated tech space on social media. These other people, these CapCut editors, these Premiere editors, they don't know what's coming. <laughs> 
So that's pretty much all I have to share today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making this and I'm so grateful to have such an awesome community coming together to make this work. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And until next time, I'll catch you around.